cleaning out my closets, found a really cute pair of pants. When did I buy these? I still had the tag on them. They don't fit, but I can fix that. I'll show you how, coming up. Hey, Chanel here, bringing you another edition for your So Chanel Fashion Playlist, bringing you tips, tools, and techniques for your fashion evolutions. So if you're new here, join us and subscribe, and I'll bring you weekly doses of fashion inspiration. So I found these pants in my closet. I think they've been there for years, and they still had the tag on it. I paid was this $34.75? I think I got them even cheaper than that. They were originally only like 69 bucks, but that's a pretty good price for this nice cotton linen. I guess it's a linen. I wonder if it's 100% linen. Yes, 100% linen. It's from the INC brand, one of my favorites. And I just love the detail on them. They're so cute. And um, just nice cotton. They're flat, like some flat felt seams in the crotch seam here. And the other seam is a top stitch down, so it's going to take a little bit of time to get it out the waistband's tight and um and i want these just to be a little bit looser so i thought i take the waistband off put on a trico band like a nice comfy band probably don't even need to use the zipper because you get a little older your waist kind of squares out and probably just put them on and it'll still i'll keep the zipper in there but i think i just want to do um i had a jean uh, video I did where I took the band off and put the trico on and they're so comfortable that way because I always wear my tops over and nobody can see the waistband anyway and I want comfort <laughs> so I'm gonna open up my th goal is to open up the side seams and put a two inch um, strip down the sides I had a little piece here cut but I've lost it so I have this brown fabric um, and then I have this black fabric which is a sheer if i doubled it um, might be good and then i also thought maybe a white on white that could be kind of cool but i think i'm going to go with the brown mainly because if i use the blacks or anything that when i wash them the black dye could actually go into the fabric and i'm gonna have to wash these with the whites but this this is actually polyester and polyester holds its dyes and uh doesn't wrinkle up and stuff at least i hope it holds its dyes i think it does um but the cottons will always lose their dyes a little bit and um, i'm just going to do a two inch strip down here and i thought if it does bleed into it what i'll do is i'll tie dye the rest of the pants <laughs> and um i was going to do like black chunks or something so that would be kind of cool but what my was thinking is i love black white and brown together i actually have a skirt pattern that i did before um with the splicing with those colors so again i'll have this pants with the brown strip to it and then i'll wear a black top with it which because that's what i always wear <laughs> black tank tops and um for the summer and comfy I'll make them a little bit looser put some a strip down it and some color and then i'll wear my pants and i won't feel so bad when i see tags in my closet so I'm going to get onto it. All right. Got my seam ripper out. I'm going to dull this thing up. <laughs> this, this thing, this, this, these pants have a lot of stitching on it. I got belt loops to take out, double rows of top stitching, but I don't, I don't have to do the top part. Just got to get it off of this band. And um, I want to make sure I save up. I could just cut it off, but I actually, I just want to put the new, the Trico fabric, right? On there because the the pant crotch already is pretty short and I want it to be as long as I can because it hangs really low on my hips um, so I gotta take that apart then I gotta take apart the whole side seams I got into the hem already and um, I'm just this is overlocked and everything but once I get started on it here it, it kind of opens up pretty fast so it's not a big deal but normally I would just cut this but I think they were fitted pretty close and I, I want them to be on the looser side so if I just cut it I would lose that seam allowance and I cut a piece of um, a strap how do you say a sample of this fabric and I cut it about three inches wide and then I'll just do like half inch seam allowances on each side and I'll have a two inch band and I, I set that in there to see how it would look and 
that's gonna look pretty cool. So um, I gotta rip this all apart, then I can get on to the best part. <laughs> okay, I'm seam ripping the waist, just so you don't feel sorry for me, watch this. There you go, see? Just get a couple little stitches like that, and you tear it. <laughs> so, it wasn't just a, it went a lot faster than I thought. And more good news, the side seams have a chain stitch as the first stitch there. So, if you know how to work these, you just clip one of the threads, and then look, it just undoes it. Sometimes it takes a while to get it started, but that is the whole, <laughs> That's the whole side seam coming apart. Look at that. Oh my gosh. The whole side seam is done. That's the first stitch. Now I have to just open up that overlock and that actually goes pretty fast. So you just got to clip a few stitches and then you just open it up like that. All right, almost done. Voila! Got my pants separated. Separated pants. <laughs> they look funny like this, but uh, now it didn't take too long, maybe 15 minutes to, um, it was 15, about 15 minutes after I got the belt loops out because those belt loops were a bear to get out and you have to be so careful. They're really stitched in there tight and I didn't want to tear this fabric because um, it would have been lower here and I would have put a hole in it. and. Um, I had to be patient with that one, but after I got those out, this all came together real fast. And that chain stitch really helped. This was all the chain stitch in there, and you just pop a corner of it, and then you, you pull it, and um, it's done. So now I'm going to take this to the iron, press it all, and get all the little threads out of there, and a lint roller will pick out, if I just run it down there, we'll pick all the little threads out there so I don't have that... Um, all sticking around see all these little tiny threads like that and um clean it up then i can put the the brown strips in there okay got my strips cut i just did about a yard and a quarter long three inches wide and i just cut it along the selvage and used my pinking shears because this fabric shreds a lot so it drives me crazy when there's threads all over the place all right now i gotta attach them to the front pant all right, got my first two strips on. I put them on the front. And what I did was I just did a half inch seam allowance and I followed the existing holes. I could still see them in the linen here and put them right back in where that seam allowance was. And I used a brown bobbin and a white top thread and got the first two strips on. Now I have to connect the back and I have to make sure that I get these exactly balanced. Um, one side doesn't stretch more than the other uh, just so that, that this will hang real straight because I don't want it to be pulling like that. So that's going to be a little challenging. I'm going to have to use a lot of pins on that. All right, Let's show you when I'm done with that. Okay, I have my backs pinned on. I put a lot of pins in here because I don't want this to stretch um, as I'm sewing it because little stretches all the way down and then your, your strips end up being tweaked. So I'll notice if they start stretching between pins and that means I can, you know, save it. <laughs> and uh, so you, because you want these all to um, line up right when it's, right at, you know, towards the end so that this all hangs up. Otherwise you end up with like tweaks in here. And with a strip on the side, you want it to hang real straight. All right, I'm gonna sew this, then I get to try it on. Oh, I'm wearing a different top. A minute ago, I was wearing a turquoise top. And my hair was longer a minute ago <laughs> because this is a month later. I was on a roll, and then my video chip had a little glitch in it. So I had to get it fixed and save my videos. So, it's about a month later. It's summer now. I gotta finish my pants so I can wear them. Oh, man, these, these turn out really cute, so I really wanna wear them. And I don't wanna finish them in the fall. I wanna wear them now. <laughs> so, I 
trying to, I, first of all, I tried them on and they're, they're a bit big. They're really wide in the waist. So I did this like little E-stitch along here where I push the, uh, what do you call it, presser foot in and crunch up all the fabric because I have to fit it on this band right here, which is some lycra e fabric that I had in my stash forever. It's a pretty comfortable waistband. I'm also going to put a non-roll elastic in there. So I have this uh, non-roll elastic. It works pretty good. Um, up into the band right here in the top part of this band. Somehow I have to figure it out there. I did on another pair of pants. It really turned out good. So E-stitched all this. Try to um, put that band on there. If you don't know what an E-stitch is, have you heard of my sew bits? So I have all these sew bit um, techniques. I'm up to like close to 30 here somewhere. But this one is, where'd it go? Sew bit number nine. It's what is an E-stitch? It's probably just a, maybe a five to 10 minute video. I show you that technique. So check it out. It's under Sew Bits on my channel, Sew Chanel, where you're watching now. <laughs> Thing. Anyway, well, I'm going to put that waistband on. I'll show you how it looks. That went better than I thought. They look a little strange. They look like maternity pants. Although I've never bought maternity pants or wore them. Hmm. But I put this, I put the, the goal was on this band was to sew the band here and fold it halfway like so and put an elastic band in there so that they stay up because I've done these before and they, as the day goes on, they start to walk down. So, um, but I put them on and I raised this whole thing all the way up and it was really comfortable. It was like, oh my gosh, this is so comfortable. But then I thought, you know, they're gonna walk their way down as, I, as the day goes on. So then I thought, I'll roll this down to my waist part and I'm gonna put in uh, just a thin elastic. I'm not gonna use the non-roll elastic. I'll do this thin elastic just to make sure they don't, you know, because you don't want baggy pants, you know, like you start sagging out. So, so I'm just going to do that and then they'll, that'll be done. So I just stitched it here and I didn't cut off this excess because I want to make sure they work. So I'm going to try them, wear them for a day, make sure they work, all that. Then I also finished the hem. So I put um, the white top stitch in here and I'm going to hand stitch this part here because I don't want any stitches to show on that brown. So then there, these will be completely done. Now, also looking in my closet, I have one brown top. One of my favorite colors, I have one brown top. And so it goes like, it's designed to go over a tank top, another top. And because I love brown, black, and white, I'm gonna put this over black, so then I'll have all my colors in there. But it was long, it had, I've had this for years. It was long and it had a drawstring in here. So I just pulled the drawstring out and now I just got to do is shorten it a little bit here and just do a stretch stitch um, hem on this. And then um, I just, I cut it so that it would just skim right over the edge of the pockets right here. And um, so you can see the cute little pockets and the buttons. And then there's just the front pocket here and it will just skim over the top part of that pocket there. And then I'll have, um, brown, black, and white. My favorite color combo. So, I'm gonna hem that. I'll show you how it looks. I'll put some pictures on the end of the video. And, voila, new summer outfit. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos with my other closet remakes. And go look in your closet, see what's in there. Is there anything that you can remake? I'm sure there is. See you next time.